I think I, I'm going to try to show uh, how I drill a circle pattern in a round part in an eagle bolt pattern. I think uh, I want to make six bolt holes spaced equally. First I'll show cutting out the blank. It's going to be a flange for a three inch plastic pipe. So the first thing I do is uh, I'll put the blank in my little circuit, circle cutting fixture here, which is nothing but a piece of quarter inch plywood with a, a runner on it that goes in the guide slot. Anyway, um, I'll mount this piece of wood here. I just use a 16th inch welding wire. It's uh, TIG wire is what it is. And uh, 16th inch is small enough where I can use any other drill bit to enlarge the hole later. So we'll put that in the proper hole here, like so, and push it down. And we'll cut out my blank. I've got to turn the vacuum cleaner on. It's going to be a little noisy. <laughs> perfect circle. This is just a scrap piece to show you how I'm going to do this. So after that we got to take it over to the drill press now and uh, mount it in my little fixture to drill the holes. Well we're over at the drill press now and uh, put my little blank on here if I can find the center hole. We'll put it on that pin, just like so. Push it down. Now, I normally, let's take this drill bit out of here. I need to, uh, Fasten that disc so it doesn't turn. There's a couple ways to do that. I usually use some hot glue and put some hot glue around the edge, but since I don't have that handy right now, I'm just going to drill a hole, a little hole here with a uh, 16th inch bit for a pin. to the base. Something like that, I hope. Now we'll put this pin back in here. Well, something to push that pin in with. Make sure it's fastened. That does it. Now we can pull these out. Make sure 
Make sure both of them are out. And now it rotates. This is a, a degree wheel I made. And when I'm done with this, I'll show you how I did that. Now we're going to put a quarter inch bit in the chuck. Because I want quarter inch holes here. Okay, now we gotta move the, the drill base here. Gotta move it over and get it on my line, which is, oh, about right there. I'll fasten this down to the drill press table, like so. And I think we're okay. Let me check and make sure this pin clears. It does. Okay, I'll start at zero. I have uh, marks here along the side every 10 degrees. This first pin here is for 10 degree increments and this one here is for five. So we'll start out there at zero and put the pin down. Now that locks all this in place now. It'll be a little hard to drill with a the camera there. Then we'll try it. Oh, I forgot to set the stop. Well, to do that, we gotta set the, the drill stop here. I don't want to drill too deep into my plate. Uh, I never can remember what way that goes. Yeah, something like that. Now we can put this back. And I want it right on that line. And lock it down again. There we go. And I'm ready to drill six holes. So since we want six holes, I want every 60 degrees. So let's turn it on and we'll drill the first hole. Hold this down. There's number one. Lift the pin. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, over my 60, the pin down. that sticks to the bit here. Move it off of there. Ready to drill that hole. Okay, we'll rotate another 60. 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 at 180 now. Pin back. Now 
Oops, we're right in that stupid pen. Oh, got it. Some days you eat the bear and some days the bear eats you. Screwed that up. Tore on my drill bit. Okay, let's move another 60. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. There's 240. Another hole. You might have goofed here. pretty much does it. Wish I wouldn't have run into that dang wire right here. I guess it's always better to to use some super glue on it or some uh, hot melt glue to hold it in place instead of this wire. I should have drilled it in a place where the wire wasn't first. Anyway, There's my piece, except for one hole that didn't quite get drilled all the way through. Would have been okay. Still not clear through. Anyway, that's how it works. Well, this is just to show you what I use to make the indexing ring on my drilling fixture. This thing here is a, what they call a spindex. It's uh, used most like most of the time for milling and steel milling and uh, lathe work and stuff like that. But they also work nice for this purpose. Uh, it's uh, marked here around the edge of this black ring. It's marked in 10 degree markings. And uh, actually it's five degree markings, I guess. Anyway, uh, to use it, you set it on zero, right here. First I would glue my plywood disc. It gets uh, some hot glue, and I put it on the bottom of this thing here that I made. It's a little spindle, goes in a 5C collet. And there's some pins on it here to help hold the disc from moving. So. I pin the disc to the bottom of this and center it. There's a centering pin in the center. And once that's mounted, I put mount it onto the drill press table. And uh, get it so the drill bit is out here to where I want the the circle. And which is toward the edge of this disc here. And then we'll uh, set this pin here to number to zero and the little mark here that little arrow thing there that's supposed to be lined up with a zero but it doesn't quite line up but so when I want to move it 10 degrees just pull this pin and rotate it till the one is the next up and drops in this hole again so there's 10 degrees if you want five degrees 
more. You put that in the fifth hole and rotate it until it drops in. So now it's 15 degrees. And on and on and on. You can do any, any number of degrees you want. And if we want 20, there's 20. Anyway, that's how we, I made my degree disc. I went every 10, like so, drill the hole, move it 10, drill the hole, move it 10, drill the hole, and so forth. And then uh, I drilled one hole five degrees more so I could know where to put my second block on that fixture. Anyway, that's all that's to it. These are relatively cheap. They're, I think, $70 or so. So they don't cost much. And y you could take this off and make another base to mount it horizontally. So uh, let's say you wanted a hub and you wanted to drill spokes in the side edge of the hub. You could mount it the other way and do the same thing. So there's lots of uses for it. All you got to do is think of what they are. Anyway, that's uh, how I made the holes in my indexing fixture for drilling pattern holes. So I thought I'd show you that. So we'll see you later. Bye.